What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at four different products I picked up from SyncWire using Amazon Prime. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SyncWire 34 watt 4 port USB wall charger. This gets four and a half out of five stars out of 2,545 customer reviews. In the box comes a compatible plug for the EU and the UK. I picked this up for $21.99. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the USB Type-C cable. This is by SyncWire. Yet again, it is a two-pack of six feet cable. It gets four and a half out of five stars out of 12,431 customer reviews. I picked this up for $13.49. It also comes in a three foot option for a dollar less and two different colors, dark blue, which we have in front of us here today and red. Third to last, we're gonna be taking a look at the SyncWire iPhone charger lightning cable, six feet. This gets four and a half out of five stars out of 10,708 customer reviews. This cable does come in two different sizing options as well, a six and a half foot option and a three foot option. This cable also comes in four different colors, silver, which we have in front of us here today, rose gold, red, and black. I picked this up for $14.99. And last but not least, we are going to be taking a look at the SyncWire Travel Case Gadget Bag. This gadget bag gets five out of five stars out of 191 customer reviews. I picked this up using Amazon Prime for $17.99. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and take a look at these products from SyncWire. So here, as you can see, I've got four different products. I've got the USB-C to lightning cable. This is six feet. It comes in two different sizing options, but we've got the longest cable here. This is going to come in handy for charging behind nightstands or dressers or at a computer desk at a hotel, for example. What I like is it is USB-C to lightning, so it is the current standard if you do have the latest model iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. Luckily, SyncWire does sell another wall plug. It does have USB and USB Type-C integrated into it. Unfortunately, with this wall plug, it's all USB only, but we're still going to demonstrate that. Uh, it does have 34 watt output, so it should pretty much fast charge all of your accessories from your AirPods to your iPhone to even your laptop, or it should at least charge your laptop at the standard rate, which already charges pretty fast using the proprietary Apple charger rated at 30 watts. Uh, we're going to be using the wall plug in tandem with the USB to USB-C braided uh, charging cable. This is six and a half feet. It does come in two different colors. And like I said earlier, two different sizing options, a three foot option and the six foot option, which we have in front of us here today. Uh, what's really awesome about this actually is for a dollar more, you get one additional cable and you get the added uh, length of six feet, which will definitely come in handy if you're going to be charging a laptop, for example. And then last but not least at the back of the pile here or stack, I should say, is the travel case by SyncWire. This is the gadget travel case. Like I said, nothing here is exorbitantly expensive. Everything is actually pretty affordable. And like I said, because they all get around four and a half to five stars and thousands of customer reviews, I think the consensus here is that people are pretty satisfied with these products. So all of these items here should be uh, pretty much good to go and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get into these unboxings and see what these products look like. Okay, so here we have the 34 watt four port USB wall charger. No USB-C here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but this should be a pretty nice charger if you want to charge your laptop. It also comes with two plugs, one for the EU and one for the UK. You can see at the top of the box here, we do get a user guide, probably has some warranty information and how to best make use of this plug. Uh, it also goes over how to swap out the adapters, which is pretty helpful. This is the 30 watt power adapter. Uh, it does have what looks to be a little LED indicator light on the front, so that's really good to see. Uh, you do get the four ports there. You do get a folding prong, so that's nice to see. This will sit flush in a bag or in our travel case here. One thing I wanna point out is A, this is glossy white, but B, it's actually kind of a heavy 
uh, plastic, which is a good thing because it should be pretty durable. It should also have really decent hardware on the inside to keep it from overheating. And it should also sort of uh, adjust the output depending on which device you have plugged in, making this a smart charger, one that's also energy efficient. But one thing I actually wanna point out is the weight of this charger. It's pretty heavy, I would say. Uh, I would definitely not put this in a bag loosely. I would probably want to organize this in some way. I think you should probably take a look at the sync wire travel bag for this. Uh, one thing I wanna point out here is these are actually just kind of swappable. They just go directly onto the US prong or go over the US prong, I should say, almost like a sleeve. Uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate that here. So uh, I think your first intuition will be to probably pop up these prongs and maybe uh, slide the adapter on top. As you can see, uh, it does just slide right on top, almost like a sleeve here. There are two inserts at the bottom of the plug here that just transfer to the US prongs. Uh, your second intuition might also be to try to slide the US prongs off as if this was some sort of swappable uh, top piece here. But it actually works like this. So like I said, you do get those two bottom openings here. And what you'll wanna do is you'll actually wanna close the prongs on the charger itself and then slide in the adapter and it actually locks into place confidently and nicely. You can see it just uh, snaps right off. If you actually attempt to put it on this way, uh, it's loose fitting and it doesn't fit tightly or securely. So uh, it is verified that it does go in this way. That is the proper way to do it. So one downside to this adapter is you cannot travel with it flush as you normally would be able to if you just were traveling in the US. As you can see, when you plug the adapter, it doesn't uh, fold inward or fold outward in any way to make this a little bit more streamlined. Uh, it's pretty much on and off. The good news here is that when you do uh, snap it on, it is secure and it is uh, in place confidently. And uh, it is just as easy as pulling it off to remove it. Uh, the one downside here is you do get the sync wire logo on the front and in lettering. I would prefer maybe just the logo, but uh, you get an LED indicator light, like I said, and everything looks pretty good here. Next up for the unboxing is the charge and sync cable for the Apple iPhone. This is the six foot version. All of these cables, by the way, are going to be nylon braided, which is awesome. This is extremely nice quality. This is the first time ever that I've actually had a nylon braided cable. Uh, this is just a single cable pack. So uh, as you can see, it is in this silver color. Uh, first thing you'll notice as I'm unraveling this cable here is it does prevent kinks. And that is thanks to this braided nylon uh, material. Uh, it's meant to be bent and pulled apart. It shouldn't uh, become taut or kinked in any way, which is really nice. As you can see, and then just to demonstrate here, I'll go ahead and just loop this up and then we'll use the Velcro strap to uh, pretty much organize it and tie it down nicely here. What's really nice is this little Velcro strap that comes included has this little loop at the end of it so uh, you can pretty much wrap it around the cable or loop it around the cable so that you don't have to keep track of it so that you don't lose it. And then when you're ready to pack it away, uh, you can pretty much just Velcro it down and keep the cable neatly organized, which I really like. So third to last in the unboxing and first impressions is the USB to USB-C charging cable two pack. These are both six and a half feet, which is amazing. This will be great for charging up other accessories like the laptop, your cell phone. If you have a USB-C enabled cell phone, what's really nice in the box does come a warranty card. This same card also came with the wall plug and the USB to the lightning cable. So you can definitely activate these products and get a warranty for them. This is in a dark blue colorway, which I think looks phenomenal. It almost looks like space gray for the AirPods Max, but it does have a little bit of a blue hue to it. Uh, six and a half feet is an awesome length, as you can see. Uh, one thing that this does not include that the other cable included was a Velcro strap to pretty much uh, tie this up and keep it organized. The ends of the cables themselves, the USB-C end and the USB end are sort of an anodized aluminum. They are not a steel or 
uh, a sort of light silver color. Uh, one thing I want to point out here is this cable is actually a little bit different in style uh, than the lightning connector here. Uh, as you can see at the end of this cable is sort of like a tapered off rubber piece and then going underneath this lightning cable is a sort of rounded off rubber piece. And last but not least in the unboxing and first impressions here is the travel accessories case. This looks to be big enough for pretty much everything here. The wall plug, the additional cables. Uh, one thing about this case that I actually really like is it's kind of a hard shell material. So you do get this really nice uh, fabric textured finish on the case itself, but it actually is structured with a little piece of plastic underneath. I think if this were sort of a loose bag, like uh, you would maybe find for a duffel bag, like for toiletries, for example, uh, it would definitely make it just a little bit harder to organize with your other belongings. Uh, you do get this little grab handle at the top. What you can actually tell is it's kind of this uh, microfiber sort of lining here. It's not felt or anything. I think this actually looks and feels a little bit more premium. You get this expandable mesh pocket here at the front, which is kind of versatile, which is pretty cool. But behind it is a more structured pocket. As you can see, there's like a little piece of plastic here lining the very top of the pocket here that keeps it more structured. Uh, it's also not as flexible. It doesn't expand out as much like the mesh fabric pocket does. So what's really nice about this, and it's, as you can see, it's really not that deep. It's kind of shallow and it's not that tall either. Uh, you could definitely put like, if this cable, for example, didn't have the Velcro strap on it, uh, this would definitely help sort of keep it down and from unfolding, right? And then this pocket here, you could probably uh, make a little bit more versatile uh, because it is expandable and put something like a charging brick in there. This charging brick might actually just be a little bit too thick. Maybe a pair of AirPods, they might be a little bit too thick. Uh, I would actually see myself putting some AA batteries or some AAA batteries in there. And then last but not least, this main compartment is actually pretty deep. This one is where you'll want to put uh, your charging bricks in, for example, and some other accessories. You can even put one of your charging cables in the corner here and then put the brick itself off to the side. You have room for other items in here, which is really nice. Uh, actually, there's a little loop here at the end of the strap here that this would basically attach to. And what's really nice about this design is that it is zipper shut. So you really shouldn't have to worry about attaching this to a carry-on bag, for example, or a backpack, and this opening up. I think you could pretty much dangle it off something and not worry about it. So that's really nice that they include these options. And then last but not least, you do get just some warranty information once again uh, in a couple of different languages so you can contact customer support and you get the warranty card in the box which you can activate which is awesome to see let's go ahead and get everything set up we'll see just how to organize the accessories bag itself so that you can pretty much travel anywhere in the country using just these cables and the included charging bricks and maybe we'll even demonstrate throwing in a couple of extra accessories let's go ahead and get into it Okay, so here spread out in organized fashion on the table in front of me is everything I'll be taking with me this summer. And I think it's what most of us will be taking with us this summer, a laptop. So here I've got the Apple MacBook Air. Uh, this I can actually charge with the 34 watt wall plug here and the USB to USB-C six and a half foot charging cable. That will work out well. Uh, I'll also be able to charge my AirPods and my iPhone using the uh, USB-C to lightning cable. Uh, one exception to the rule here is that I did have to tag along the Apple proprietary 30 watt USB-C charging cable. This obviously will work with the uh, USB-C to lightning cable to charge the AirPods Max, the AirPods, and the iPhone. Uh, unfortunately, the 34 watt wall plug here does not include a USB-C port, but there is another sync wire wall plug that does have USB and USB-C. That was currently unavailable, so I was not able to test that out, but for the most part, I should be able to charge the AirPods, the laptop, the cell phone, 
And actually, I should be able to charge uh, one of my cameras as well because it is USB-C enabled. Uh, I cannot demonstrate that right now because I am shooting this video using it. But uh, what's nice is I'll be able to charge at least the laptop at the same time and the camera at the same time. Uh, and then uh, just pack the USB-C plug and cable to charge you know, my AirPods and my iPhone. Uh, also, what we're gonna see if we can fit in this case is the additional plugs for the EU and the UK. We're gonna fit the warranty card in there. We're gonna fit the uh, user guide in there. And we're also gonna see if we can get the AirPods in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and see just exactly how we can get everything in this charging case so that we can charge all of our most important tech accessories. So as you can see, I was able to get the most important necessary accessories and a couple of additional accessories in there, like the Velcro straps, the AirPods, for example, and the user guides. Uh, but you don't need to necessarily put your AirPods in this case. You might want them in your pocket. This case is also not designed for the AirPods, but just to demonstrate, I was able to get them in there. Also, another thing I want to clarify is this charging brick is actually a bit of an overstatement. Uh, the reason I would need to pack this is to charge my iPhone because, as you might remember, this charging cable for the iPhone is a USB-C to Lightning. Great if you've got the 12 or 12 Pro, but uh, not so great if you have the iPhone SE like me. Uh, so I did need to bring this along with me, but uh, for the most part, if you do have a USB-C to Lightning Apple proprietary charging brick, or if you just have the sync wire, USB and USB-C, uh, wall plug, uh, you shouldn't have to really worry about getting everything in there. For me, the necessity was uh, being able to charge the MacBook Air and one of my cameras at the same time. Uh, one of my cameras, which I'm actually using to shoot with right now, maybe I went out and did a photo shoot, like went on a hike, for example, and I want to charge the camera back up while I'm doing some heavy photo editing on the MacBook Air and need to charge it at the same time. As you saw, it was definitely a little bit overcrowded, uh, but it actually worked out well. This case is actually really uh, kind of malleable. It actually uh, conforms nicely to when you have things stacked up in there. Uh, what's also nice are these mesh pockets, as you can see, are uh, flexible and versatile as well. What's actually really nice, what you'll notice here, is I'm actually standing up this uh, USB-C uh, Apple proprietary plug in the case itself. I'm standing it up on its side and it actually fits in there just fine when I close it. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that one last time. I'm gonna get the uh, user guide in here once again and the uh, warranty card. And actually, you know what? I was being just a little bit uh, maybe anal about the uh, adapters. Uh, you can actually get, I would say at least the uh, additional plug in here, at least one additional plug in here, right? You've got the AirPods, you've got one additional plug. Uh, this plug here is a little bit bigger, but you can actually just get it in there. The thick nylon braided cables definitely do take up more space, uh, but they are better quality, they're more durable, and luckily for us, uh, they both do fit. Really awesome stuff, really happy to see that everything here works phenomenally well together in this bag. Yeah, tell me what you guys think below. I think this is actually fantastic. Anyways guys, if you buy everything you saw here today, or if you go to SyncWire store on Amazon and pick out more specific cables for your specific needs, you should be pretty much good to go to travel anywhere in the country or anywhere in Europe and charge all of your accessories at once. Everything did fit in the charging case, which was phenomenal. And because everything was under 25 bucks, you should really have no problem getting good quality charging accessories at an affordable price. Ones that you can take wherever you go and charge whatever you need to. Anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning into this unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, my name is John. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.